So I look on peace as one of the basic human rights, along with the right of people to have good health and education and housing and so forth, the basic necessities of life. And uh, I think sometimes we relegate peace to kind of a ancillary issue. Uh, I, happen, I happen to be a Christian. I worship the Prince of Peace, and I think if we if we would elevate peace to a to a high, uh, sometimes unachievable goal, but have it as a major commitment of a country, that would be important. The Carter Center's slogan is "Waging Peace" instead of "Waging War," but that means a, an aggressive effort in every. Uh, troubled uh, international incident to have peace as a preeminent consideration and a goal to escape. We are the world leader. And uh, when we say the United States is a superpower, and we're the only one now that's unchallenged, I would say, since the end of the Cold War, uh, what is a superpower supposed to exemplify. I think we ought to be known in the most remote areas of the world as a champion of peace. So the people that are threatened with a civil war or maybe a war with a neighbor would, would have their first thought, why don't we go to Washington? Because Washington is deeply committed to peace and they'll promote peace in their own policies and, and help us as well. Um, the same thing should, you know, could apply to other aspects of life. Mm -hmm. It's not enough just to have the most formidable weapon system on Earth or the most powerful currency on Earth, whether the dollar or the most acceptable, you know, world language in English. There's other things. What are, what are the things that make a nation great? I would say staying at peace would be one of them.